man must see his attributes and his problems to his environment and learn again to exercise his will, his personal responsibility. Albert Einstein couldn't have said this better. Recently, I decided to step out of the house to take a long walk. The entire country had been on lockdown for more than two weeks and I was beginning to feel like I needed to stretch. As I walked through the streets, I saw a group of young people huddled in a corner. One of them walked up to me, keeping his distance, and was begging money for food. Truthfully, I didn't have any cash on me or I would have given him. On second thoughts, I imagined that giving him money wouldn't do him any good. First, he was a young person. Second, he didn't seem like he was serious because he was dressed like a thug. Third, because he was young, he had the wits about him to learn a skill that could be put to good use for himself so he can start to make money and not have to depend on anyone or even beg for money. I do not judge him for his condition because I do not quite understand it. But I have learned that if we don't take responsibility for our lives, no one will ever take it for us. You may find yourself in a terrible situation which you didn't bring upon yourself. But pitying yourself is not going to make the situation go away. Taking responsibility will. Denise Waitley said, A sign of wisdom and maturity is when you come to terms with the realization that your decisions cause your rewards and consequences. You are responsible for your life and your ultimate success depends on the choices you make. Taking responsibility for your life may not be a much discussed topic amongst young people, but doing so in your youth will allow you to build a life of success early. Success is all about choosing to take responsibility for your life. No man becomes anything which he doesn't decide to become. You are responsible for your life. You are what you allow. As much as it is easy to blame anyone or circumstances for your predicament, the fact that we have life in us is a proof that we have been handed the charge we need to either move our lives forward or stall it. Most young people do not take responsibility for their lives. It is understandable because blaming others for your life's woes is easier than standing up to change. Yet, only you can change your life if it's not the way you want it to be. Here are three tips to help you take responsibility for your life, which if followed will change your life. 1. There is a price to pay. When you blame others, you give up your power to change. Gary Player, one of the most successful international golfers of all time, lost count of how many times someone said to him, I'd give anything if I could hit a golf ball like you. After one particularly grueling day on the links, player couldn't resist correcting the person, said no you wouldn't, you'd give anything to hit golf balls like me if it were easy. Player then listed the things one would have to do to achieve this level of play. You've got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, go out and hit a thousand golf balls, walk up to the clubhouse to put a bandage on your hand where it started bleeding, then go and hit another thousand golf balls. That's what it takes to hit a golf ball like me. The person nodded and went his way. I'm sure he never did any of those things. Don't blame him. He wasn't just motivated to. He had no determination and no self-discipline to travel the path. His excuse, I can presume, would be, after all, it's player's field, not mine. Yes, a good reason indeed. Not taking responsibility for your life may be the easy way out. But when it comes down to later in the future, there is a price to pay. You can play now and pay later. Or you can take charge of your life, pay now and play later. Whichever way, you'll pay the price. 2. Develop your self-esteem. Disciplining yourself to do what you know is right and important, although difficult, is the high road to pride, self-esteem and personal satisfaction. Brian Tracy If you don't have what others have, it's not because you can't have it. It's likely because you're not willing to invest in yourself the needful attitudes to have the same thing. Having a victim mentality is thinking that everyone but you should be blamed for your bad lots. No, you should be blamed for your bad lots. Your freedom comes when you admit this and you start to work on yourself to grow. Take those classes, pursue those dreams, live intentionally and make deliberate decisions that you will become the person you hoped you be. With every step you take successfully, your self-esteem grows. 3. Accept the permission to live the life you want. 
When we have begun to take charge of our lives to own ourselves, there is no longer any need to ask permission of someone. George O'Neill For a long time, I waited for people to tell me I was a great writer. If I wrote anything, I didn't consider it great until someone said it was great. As a result, I didn't publish most of my works because I didn't believe I deserved to be heard. All that changed as soon as I stopped waiting for people to permit me to be great. I realized I had to admit to myself that I was good and that only by believing in myself could I get others to believe in me. No one is going to stop you from living the kind of life you want. No one will hold you back. No matter how much you think your present company is stopping you from becoming all you want to be, you are the one permitting them. You can have back your permission by choosing to rise to do what you must. But people won't make you do what you don't want to do. Stop permitting them. Grab the permission you already have to move your life forward. 4. Take responsibility every day. Helen Keller said, I long to accomplish a great and noble task, but it is my chief duty to accomplish small tasks as if they were great and noble. Abraham Lincoln said, and I quote, you cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. Taking responsibility for your life won't be an easy feat at first. So it's safe to start small, to do a little daily. Start now. Do a little bit of what you wouldn't ordinarily do. Fix the project you've long procrastinated on doing. Call the loved one you have to. Do a little bit every day that helps you take charge of your life. The more you succeed in doing those little things, the greater your self-esteem builds. With better self-esteem, you are almost always ready to achieve the success you most desire. You don't become in one day what you want to be. It's the same with forming a habit or taking responsibility for your life. So, start now to take those baby steps and remember, no one can decide to change your life except you. No matter who or where you are now, you can change. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.